Hello friends, this video on Peel Talk Element Part 33 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand the next important compound of the group 16 that is sulfur. We'll talk about the allotropes of sulfur. Sulfur, there are various allotropes. There are a lot of allotropes actually sulfur. There are in fact 20 sulfur allotropes. But there are some of the popular, we'll study alpha, beta, lambda. We'll study three allotropes of sulfur. Okay. So the alpha allotropes of sulfur is my lemon yellow. Lemon yellow. And the shape is my orthorhombic. This is my alpha. Then we have beta. This is my beta, beta sulfur. I can write here, beta sulfur. This is again my bright yellow. You can see this is bright. And this is monoclinic. Bright yellow and monoclinic. The next is lambda. Lambda sulfur, also called plastic sulfur. Plastic sulfur. Okay, and this uh, beta sulfur is monoclinic and it has a prism like say, also called prismatic sulfur. Prism like. So we will study these three. In fact, alpha is very stable, very stable at STP. Beta is not much stable. Lambda is very unstable. You'll see actually this lambda will convert into alpha. Okay, so you talk about this alpha sulfur. Uh, this is again you see the lemon yellow in color. Uh, the melting point is almost 386 Kelvin, and the specific gravity, specific gravity is 2.06. This is the specific gravity. Okay. And this alpha sulfur is formed by evaporating solution of roll sulfur in CS2. We'll see uh, how the sulfur is extracted. This is water insoluble. This is not soluble in water. It's not water soluble. But it is soluble in CS2. It is highly soluble in CS2. Okay. It is highly soluble in uh, CS2 and it is uh, soluble in benzene alcohol also. Okay. So I told this is orthorhombic crystal system. This has this puckered S8. This is S8. All these are sulfur. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a three dimensional structure of ACE8 sulfur attached in this ring. It's a crown shaped, shaped ring, crown shaped puckered ring actually you can say. Okay. So, so we are, till now what do you see? There are so many allotropes of sulfur. So many allotropes. Okay. So this has, for example, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, S7, S8, like that. S20, till S20, we have. There are so many electrodes of sulfur. Okay. We will study, we have studied actually three different electrodes, alpha, beta, and lambda. And this alpha is again S8. In fact, beta is also S8. Okay. So let's see the beta sulfur first. Alpha sulfur we have seen, water soluble. Not soluble, uh, not water soluble, but soluble carbon disulfide, and the melting point is 386 Kelvin. Let's see the beta sulfur. This is beta sulfur. The melting point is little higher, that is 393 Kelvin. Okay, and uh, specific gravity is also little less. That is uh, 1.9, almost. 
specific gravity 1.9 again the light yellow in color and this is also soluble in CS2 this is soluble in CS2 how to prepare this uh, beta sulfur this is prepared from alpha sulfur okay you melt this alpha sulfur in a dish and then cool it till you get the crust and then you made a make a hole in this crust and you take out the remaining liquid and this colorless needle like shape structure which you get is my beta sulfur so it is formed from alpha sulfur only okay so you have this alpha sulfur from this actually you heat it uh, maybe 369 Kelvin or 96 degrees Celsius let's take it Celsius you heat this in this uh, temperature you get beta sulfur you hit this all the more actually I will show you you will get lambda sulfur or plastic sulfur correct alpha beta and lambda okay so how you get beta sulfur you melt this alpha sulfur in a dish and then you cure it and uh, you have to make some hole and pour out the liquid you get this kind of beta sulfur okay now if you see at 369 kelvin or 96 degrees Celsius. So at this temperature, if you see alpha to beta conversion is taking place, that means at this temperature, both alpha and beta are stable. Okay, so at 369 Kelvin or 96 degrees Celsius, both alpha and beta sulfur are stable. Okay, also note that both alpha and beta sulfur are. S8 with this puckered crown shape structure. Okay, if you talk about S2, one of the allotropes, this is again paramagnetic, like O2. Like O2, this is also paramagnetic. Okay. So if you heat this again to a higher temperature, to almost let's suppose 1000 Kelvin or 1000 degrees Celsius, what you get is my S2, diatomic sulfur, in fact this is S2 vapors. So at very high temperature, in fact the lambda sulfur also converts into S2, the ring breaks. Okay, this was my S2 is done and S8 is done. We'll also study S6. This is my S6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six sulfurs in a cyclic ring and form a chair structure. This is S6. Okay, and this length is almost 205.7 picometer. And this angle is how much? 102 degree Celsius. 102 degree. If you talk about this structure, this angle is 107 degree, and this length is any length between two sulfur is 204 picometer. Okay, so these are the various allotropes of sulfur. Sulfur has so many allotropes S2, S3, S4, S5, S6. S8, S20, we studied S2, S6 and S8. S8 we have alpha, beta and lambda sulfurs. You convert heat alpha sulfur to 96 degrees Celsius, you get beta sulfur. Heat beta sulfur to 113 degrees Celsius, you get lambda sulfur. You heat it further, you get S2 vapors. Right? And they are paramagnetic. To talk about S6, they are again a cyclic sulfur and they have chair like structure. We'll take some numerical on this. 
which forms of sulfur shows paramagnetic behavior we just saw that s2 sulfur shows paramagnetic behavior and this s2 sulfur is at high temperature at high temperature of almost 1000 kelvin you get sulfur papers and they have two unpaired electrons in the anti-bonding pi orbital just like my oxygen O2 and they exhibit paramagnets. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attend free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.